Today I'm on the big island of Hawaii. So because of that, I'm going to show you how to paint a miniature painting of this turtle. I'm going to start with painting the background with phthalo blue red shade mixed with titanium white and a little bit of phthalo turquoise to give that aqua Hawaiian water. I can get quite finicky with the background, so I'm saving you a lot of time fast boarding this portion. At that point there, I actually went and blow dried the canvas to make sure that it was dry for this next layer. I'm mixing turquoise thalo with white to make the bottom of the ocean show that there's some sunlight reflecting on it. Here I'm just using more titanium white. A tiny bit of that turquoise thalo in it and a little bit of the thalo blue to show the sunlight coming through the surface of the water. It's really important for the background to be quite blended. It takes a lot of strokes to, to blend it and, and kind of have different highlighting layers. So I went from the darkest to the lightest like I usually do. But again, it is the most, most finicky part of the painting. So we just keep fast forwarding until we get to the turtle, which will be the interesting part. And then I'll move it back to real time painting at that point. Painting around the edges. Oh, there we go, now I'm doing the turtle. Just blocking in the silhouette. I normally don't start with the brightest color right after I do that dark color in the turtle, but there's so much detail that is white that I'm gonna start there, and if I have to paint over it, I will. Just basically I'm gonna draw in his details with white. Wherever I see white in the photo. Beautiful eye. This right here. So I, I, this is the paintbrush that barely has just a few strands on it. It almost works like a like a pen or a pencil. So I pay attention to things like it, the the white of the eye doesn't connect right there. I'm purposely not going to connect that. And this eye is just a big black blob out there, past this chunk, and there's some white on his head. Beautiful little nose. have the tiniest little paint, a little bit of paint on this brush. And he has a stripe that comes up right under his eye that meets his nose. This part of his face reminds me of mosaic tiling. It just all fits together like these are the grout lines and the 
black parts or the tile. <laughs> I do that sometimes. yet. Let's see what we can do. And this over here is a bit blurry detailed so I'm not going to be too precise. I'm just going to put in a few white blobs. Maybe a few specific lines, almost like veins. But I'm gonna have to come back and paint these turquoise after this. And there's kind of some veins back here. The shell has some white sort of white lines. Do that. And then there's a big amount of highlight. of his shell. such a balance of um, fine detail and then just very loose detail just to make the impression of a turtle. It's starting to look a bit like a turtle now. So I'm just looking back and forth at this photo. I'm putting most of the lines that I see, but not in the exact right places, just in a general place. And then there's a bunch of just very washed out white on this, on this fin. It'd be nice when I get into some of these colors because there's some beautiful color in this in this guy. So his bottom lip has some white and it goes change color now because a lot of the other highlights are yellows and turquoises. So 
I think um, the one that stands out to me most right now is actually the yellows. So we can work on those. So it's kind of a yellowy orange color. So I have this quinacridone gold is what it's called. Quinacridone azo gold. And I'm going to mix that with my CAD yellow light and try to make a bit of an orange. So what I'm trying to do is some of this. But there's some white in there too, I think. It's very yellowy. But thankfully it doesn't have to be perfect. So I'm gonna start with this and see what comes out. So we shall very bottom edge of this shell. Oh, it's a bit more orange. That. So I'm just gonna color in, kind of using this little paintbrush like a coloring pen. So now that's super yellow. I'm gonna have to change that a little bit to orange eventually, but I'll just mark it in now with this color that I've mixed. And bring me some more orange. And then he's got a bit of that. Almost like a little flame on his upper lip. And then his nose, or his beak, I guess they call it, comes up right around here. somewhat of the color and then there's a bunch of whitish whitish I don't know what color that is whitish beige just a bunch of flecks with black in between I'm just gonna do a bunch of dots here like this Get really light up in the armpit there. <laughs> and then kind of weird shapes. So now I'm just looking at the this area in here and kind of looking at it abstractly. I'm just trying to paint the shapes that I see and leave enough black showing through. too much. I think I'll leave some black, black showing through. Starting to look like a turtle. It's amazing how little amount of paint and suddenly it starts to look like what you're trying to intend. But you don't have to paint a turtle per se. You just paint colors and the shapes in the right spaces and when you put the color on you can see if it's the right shade or not and then you can always come back over it and do the do the shades again Coming out, he's coming out. He's starting to appear through the canvas. So cool. Such a process. And I don't even have his proportions completely right, but it's working. Um, what's going on down here? A little flick there. Paint in there. I think I have to change colors again. I think I've used up most of the spot. So you notice I try to paint, if I have a color on my brush, I try to paint wherever that is. Oh, that's, so I have to keep changing my. or my color. 
and it's working. Okay, so what color? I think I'm gonna get into some of these turquoises. These are beautiful, and I have tons of turquoise on my palette here. Turquoise. And I'm just gonna start seeing which part of the turquoise it fits. Yeah, that one down there. So it's it's like this color in here. So then I'm gonna paint some of this. Just color them a little bit, like a coloring book. It is true that this is therapeutic. It's like we were meant to create. Funny, his, his arm is almost the same color as the water in this spot right here. I guess that's so he blends in from his predators. I do want to take care to leave some of that black sh showing through. I'm just putting little touches, little blobs of paint. My paintbrush went crazy there and went where it didn't look. I didn't really want it to go, but. And actually, this, this line shouldn't be white. It should be a little bit blue. Sometimes you can tint white. Once, if it's already white, you just put a little bit of paint on your brush and then you just tint it with a really watery bunch. And I just went too much into the black area. So I'm gonna go back over with the black. Oh, my brush is too wet. He's really starting to look like himself. Some more turquoise for sure. Keep him right here. Oops. Why is that black? My brush was dirty. So I have to make sure that it's clean. Sometimes I turn off the camera and I go wash all my brushes completely clean again because oh, that's not going to do it. Because I like to work with very clean brushes. Okay. What color am I working on right now? I am back to that turquoise color because I have not finished coloring his fins. As we speak, my husband has gone out to swim with the dolphins. We're right out in Kona Kailua, right in front of a beach that all the dolphin boats go. So he goes out and he swims to out from shore to the boat where, where all the boats are and joins all the, the folk. He's out pretty good long distance swimmer. So I will bet he's having the time of his life right now. When we were here one time, I did go with him. It's a nice long swim in very deep water. I'm glad I, I'm glad I did it once, but I don't need to do it again. <laughs> he's, he's a lot more adventurous than I am. So he's got a little bit, this guy, he's got a little bit of veins of blue underneath his face. This guy, his face reminds me of one of the Star Wars characters. I think he was called Jabba the Hutt or something like that. I'm not a big Trekkie. No, it wasn't Star Wars. 
yes, Star Wars, not Star Trek. Anyways, I'm not a Star Wars fan or a Trekkie fan, but I do remember a grumpy old turtle face guy named Jabba the Hutt, I think his name was. I'm just gonna tint these veins back to the blue color they're supposed to be. So they're not supposed to be white, and same with this isn't supposed to be white. Did some of that detail while I had that color on my brush, and this is supposed to be white, so I'll leave that. quite close to the bottom of the, of the ocean. I hope that's a nice composition. I'd like to see him a little higher up, but I'd also like to see that sunshine, so does that make sense. Okay, so there's some turquoise, or I guess it's more of a, yeah, more greenish than I've been doing so far. Under here that I need to get to. And I need to leave some black strokes in between. My brush is too wet. You can tell it's too wet when it doesn't paint over very well. Yeah, it's still too wet. This uh, Thalo turquoise is also not a very solid color. I think I'm gonna have to mix it with, I guess a bit of yellow, yellow and white. Let's see what happens now. Something with more substance in the paint. So I'm going to use some of this yellow together with it and it will be a lot easier. You know what? There's actually water on my canvas. That was the problem. Just give it a little try off. There we go. some of this color up here too. Just little hints of it. I'm barely touching the canvas with this little tiny brush. I like to rest my hand when I'm doing really fine detail. So I've got my my wrist rested right in the middle of this paint. So I'm gonna pull that over and paint on this beautiful green on the back of this shell. Lots of black showing through. far off I can be from the from the original and I'm still getting the vibe and the feel of this turtle. Pretty amazing. I could probably stop painting right now and it's you totally know what I painted. And yet I haven't even done some of the colors that I see. There's there's a little bit of purples some whitey yellows. See more, more green than I painted. I think it needs to be even a bit lighter to stand out a bit more from the water. One little stroke of light. Add some tips of light in there. And then his lower lip has different colors in it.
got more lightness in this fin that I'm showing. So much black should be throwing, showing through. And on his little chest, and even some little hooks here. He's coming along. Goodness for this tiny little paintbrush. I wouldn't be able to do this if I didn't have this little list paintbrush. So there are some warm colors I'm missing, some nice. beautiful color called Clonacridone Magenta and I'm going to mix some of that in with my Clonacridone Azo Gold and warm up around his nose a bit and a few dots up here his eyes, around his neck, Try not to overdo it. a couple of his face mosaic tile things.
to move to a much lighter color. There we go. I would like to move to this color. distinguish where his head stops. Some more white on this fin on the top. Up here, just coloring some of these dark spots. Squiggly veins I'm trying to draw to cover in all that black. This end is a bit more blue. Very light, it will dry a little bit darker. And then there's some more green. Just about done. I'm going to put a little highlight in this area. So that should be, oh, it's like a sunny, very sunny white. But I'm making more of a green. Hmm. Although that green I just made. Do I see that color? Just a little bit. There. And even a little bit over here. Let's 
Do I see them? Maybe there? a nice bunch of white I didn't put on his eyeball over here and then on his head it's really starting to look like a turtle now He needs a nice little bit of blue on his forehead. And I'm just helping his nose come through a bit. His upper lip needs some turquoise. Beak needs to be finished off with some turquoise. I think we're going to call him done. Nice turtle. I hope this video helps you to paint your very own miniature turtle painting. See you next time. Please subscribe if you'd like to learn how to do more miniature paintings.